Sam fam, welcome back to my channel. Today is a styling video, but it's a styling video with a twist. So stay tuned. Make sure that you're already subscribed to my channel and you've already clicked on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. I decided to challenge myself. Yes, I challenged myself because wala sa inyo nag challenge sa akin. So I decided to challenge myself because I feel like I've been wearing so much of my hubby's clothes nowadays. So I thought, why not challenge myself to wear seven days or like one week's worth of my husband's clothes? Purely just my husband's clothes, except for the accessories like small trinkets or like scarves or something like that, especially shoes. I mean, you can yung shoes. Niya. I mean, so everything is really from his closet. Walang dayaan. We are very, very truthful. We are very, very honest. So that is the kind of challenge that I wanted to do for this styling video. And lo and behold, I think it is a success. I think it is a success. Well, you'll see. So let's start off with look number one. So our look number one is pretty simple. I feel like a lot of you have already seen this, like folding your husband's or your boyfriend or your brother or your father or your best friend, your boy best friend's shirt in such a way that you could wear it into a skirt or a dress. So that's what we're doing with this look. We're wearing my husband's button-down shirt as my skirt paired with his turtleneck knit top. So this blue turtleneck top is actually a Christmas gift from Yanni's parents to him and I paired it with this blue button down. It's super duper easy to turn it into a skirt. All you have to do is unbutton the first few buttons of your shirt and then take the sleeves and tie it around your waist. So you can just follow the curve of your waist, like look for your hip area and then sort of like smooth the sleeves over your hips towards the center of your body and just tie a knot. You can do a double knot or just one knot for me. I prefer this one knot thing because it looks less bulky. And then the areas on top, like the excess fabric on top, so that's the collar and the upper portion of your button down, you can just like fold it neatly on top of your sleeves. So that way, nothing is bulky, your hips are still not lying, and your waist is still beautiful, and it doesn't look like you just forced your shirt into a skirt. It actually looks like the style. Actually, there's a lot of stores that sell this type of skirt, like the skirts that look like a shirt. So in my opinion, this looks pretty natural. Look number two, I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen me steal this blazer from the Hobbs. So it's actually my favorite blazer of his. It's this pink Bianca Cordero double breast blazer. It's long enough, but the thing is, it's got slits on the side. So I paired it with his common suits custom-made button-down shirt that he actually wore to our wedding in Italy. So this way, I look like I'm wearing a shirt dress inside over the blazer and the slit problem is solved. No need to wear any skirts or shorts underneath. And then to toughen up this look or to make it a little bit younger and trendier, I wore my favorite Chloe rubber boots. You can also go for like knee highs if you want or you can go for pumps so that it's sleeker. Anything goes. Look, it's a summer look because summer is definitely here. I don't know about you, but I feel the heat so, 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 so much. So I have this beach ready outfit for you guys. So I'm wearing a button down shirt that's a short sleeve shirt. It's perfect for the beach. It's got a really soft cotton fabric. It's actually locally made. It's from The Good Retail, which you'll find on Instagram. And I paired it with the Hubs' board shorts. I looked for his shortest, shortest, shortest pair of board shorts, and this is his shortest pair so I just folded the shorts so that it looks a bit more flattering for my legs and for my bum. A oh, bum? British? British? Usually when you're wearing board shorts they have this net like thing right for the pocket area so I just crumpled it up so it's not seen after I folded the cuff and I just made sure to tie the drawstring really really tightly. That's one of the best things about men's clothes. A lot of their pants or their shorts come with drawstrings. So even if they're super duper 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 loose on me, it's so easy to just 
tighten the drawstring and it still works because it looks like a puffy pair of shorts which is still super duper trendy right now. I decided to accessorize my look just so in case you don't get the beach vibe. I accessorized with this straw visor hat and also with my rubber burks. And then I finished it off with this pair of sunglasses that I made more and more arte with this pearl chain. Very beachy vibe. So for our fourth look, I feel like out of the seven looks that I came up with, this one is the hardest to pull off. So I went for a denim on denim look. And the denim jacket that I'm wearing as a top, it's got a really thick, bulky fabric. I like the bulky feel of it, but it's hard to tuck that in to my shorts because nah, it's so, so, so bulky. It makes me look like my hips doubly don't lie. Like instead of just Shakira, Beyonce butt, it looks like it's Shakira and Beyonce's butt all together. So I really had to find a way to tuck it into my shorts without making it look bulky. So one way is to take out one side of the jacket and just tuck in one side. So at least you can spread out the fabric all throughout your hip area and it doesn't look as bulky. And then Yanni's shorts, these are his tiniest shorts according to him. And I love it because it's in the same shade as the denim fabric of my coat, except it's again super duper big. So who is your bestie? Your bestie is a belt. But I went further and went for a super duper cute Burberry belt with a tiny coin purse. I feel like it added a nice accent to the all denim look. And because this is a super duper bulky look, I decided to make it a bit sexier by wearing a pair of heels, like sleek heels, instead of flats or bergs, which also looks good. But I just wanted a bit more feminine touch to the look and that's why I felt like the heels are much better for this style. Look, I'm so excited about this look because I felt like the designer in me came out again. Came out once again. She is alive. She has resurrected. It's actually two button-down shirts that I combined to make it look like this dress. And I feel like it's super duper sleek and very stylish. It's something that you can wear to events for sure. I mean, I personally would. Or for parties, for special occasions, for date nights. I actually got this idea from one of the shoots that I attended. The stylist there made the model where the back was in front and the front was in the back. Okay, I feel like am I making sense? So that's what I did here. I got inspired by it. So I just buttoned the first two or the first three buttons of that shirt at the back because I really wanted to keep the back backless. And then I pushed the rest of the fabric of the button down towards the center of my body in front so that it forms the center part of my skirt. And then I used the second button down shirt as the skirt from my behind to cover my butt area and then as usual the sleeves to tie it all together except I tied the sleeves into a ribbon so I'll show you how I did it I feel like I'm the ribbon queen I really can do nice ribbons you just have to basically tie a knot you just have to pay attention to the placement of the sleeves so that the bow would form beautifully at the center of your dress and voila you have yourself a dress oh I like Mion Look, I feel like the Gen Z people like my assistant wouldn't understand but us millennials we will understand I would like to name this look as my Sedi look. Sedi, yes. I'm wearing my husband's super duper worn out knit shirt. Actually, I have a sa likod kaya tay meron jacket. But anyways, it's also one of my favorites of his shirts. And I paired it with his Uniqlo pants. This is perfect because the Uniqlo pants actually has drawstrings. So it's convenient for me to make it fit my size. And then I wore it with the Uniqlo cardigan that I bought for him during that Christmas vlog that I did link here if you didn't watch it. And because I wanted to style it up a bit more, I got my scarf from Madison and Reese and tied it around my neck so that it kind of has that European Sedi feel na. Sedi. Google niya ang Gen Z kung di niya alam kung Sedi. Anyway, and then I used to be really into these androgynous shoes. I still am. Androgynous flats. So I'm wearing my Alexander Wang flats and kulang na lang gray or newspaper boy hat and Sedi Sedi na me. For our last look, I feel like this is the most obvious look because everyone is doing it right now. It's all over the runways, it's all over the magazines. Everyone is so into the oversized suit look. So this is super duper easy. I feel like it's one of the most obvious talaga. So that's why it's our last look. I'm wearing Yanni's custom suit but of course all of Yanni's pants Actually, yeah, all of Yanni's pants usually will probably fall straight down to my feet if I don't wear them with belts. 
So this time I'm wearing it with my Gucci belt and I decided to just keep this look clean and sleek. So I'm wearing one of his oversized shirts. I would probably prefer one of his smaller shirts but he doesn't really have any white shirts that are small and that has this much structure as this shirt. I wanted a really crisp shirt feel so that's why I went with this oversized shirt of his. Just to add a bit of a feminine touch, I went for my Numero 21 heels. They're not your usual pumps. It's like a pump with a twist, literal twist. I feel like when you're wearing such a sleek and clean look, this is when you can actually play around with your accessories. So I added like this silver necklace and again I went for a more elaborate shoe as opposed to like a classic pair of pumps. And that's it for my seven days of borrowing from my husband's closet. I hope that you guys got some ideas from me. And now you can easily borrow from your father, your brother, your boyfriend, your best friend, your husband, whatever you want to call them. It's complicated, I know. Don't forget to comment down below what your most favorite look is or if you have any other suggestions of how you think we can style our significant other's closet or clothes. So just leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up. See you guys on my next vlog.